Hey there fellow watch shavers, Brian here with the watch shave experience. Thank you for tuning into today's video. In today's video, we have the last of my barbershop kick. Anyways, we are going wet shave products, WSP. This is a barbershop. This is in their rustic shave version, which is their vegan shape, uh, soap base. We have the matching aftershave splash with that. And uh, we have the, we use the Lancaster razor bowl again for the second time. And we are um, still using the Starcraft brush. I thought the blue matched the red, white, and blue there. So we we're all lathered up, plenty of lather. Uh, lathered up really well. Today for the razor, we are going to be using the Blackland Blackbird Titanium. So it is a three-piece razor. So you can see base plate there. Uh, top cap, so the male ends are on um, the bottom of the top cap. Um, you get your post, obviously, and then you've got your handle. I am using a first use Nasset blade. That is my go-to blade. So we'll put the, load the blade in there. We will place the top cap on there, like so. And then we will screw on the handle. And the handle, interesting, the hole is um, large. So this whole um, top piece right here goes into that. Um, base plate. So this is on loan to me from John or Jonathan, aka Latherhog. So if you haven't checked out his channel, um, I'm sure you have. He's a lot more popular than me. Um, check it out. I will link it in the description. But him and I were going back and forth talking. I sent him the winning razor to use. And um, sorry, I'm still a little stuffed up. No, my voice is still a little slightly off, I think. Um, but anyways, um, this is the Blackland Blackbird, and this is the titanium version, so very light. The handle's pretty short. Um, I think this is an 85 millimeter handle. You can get a longer handle. For comparison, this is the Mercure 34C, so you can see the handle's slightly longer than the Mercure. Um, I pulled out my carve, and you can see that the handle is sl slightly shorter, if you can see that than the um, carve handle. So I think the carve handle is 3.5 inches. I can't, I'm not sure, I can't remember my conversion of millimeters to inches, but I'm gonna wet the face and get started here. We're working on one day, one day, one day. One day's growth. Um, I shaved yesterday. So those of you that saw my video yesterday, you got my explanation of my absence last week. By the way, I'm shaving without my contacts in today. So this should be, I'm gonna to have to get closer to the mirror. I was trying some contact lenses from my eye doctor and yesterday apparently I didn't realize I used the last pair. I thought I had another pair and I don't and they had to order some and they actually came in yesterday but I couldn't get there by five. And since I thought I had another pair, I didn't make a a big effort to get there. Um, but anyways, so today I'll have to throw my glasses. I guess I could throw them on to shave, although I don't really want to. We'll see how this goes before I throw on my glasses, but otherwise I'm gonna throw on my glasses. Not sure it's gonna work. So my glasses are for distance. I can see fine up close, so I might just have to get closer to the mirror in this video. So I apologize for that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. And if you like at all anything you see, hit that thumbs up button down below. Uh, any of that helps the channel. So um, first go with the Blackbird, uh, Blackland Blackbird Titanium. So I can already tell you that the titanium is definitely much lighter than say brass um, or stainless steel. I don't have an aluminum razor. I did try the Henson aluminum a while back. Um, Rex, the well-grooming dad, lent that out to me to, to give it a go. Um, and that was really light, definitely lighter than this. Um, so this is obviously uh, somewhere in between stainless and aluminum as far as weight goes. I've heard this is a more aggressive razor, which I don't typically usually like, um, more aggressive, more blade feely type razors. So. Uh, um, I'm very interested. This is a hefty price point. Um, also another reason other than that I've heard it's um, 
uh, somewhat aggressive that I was reluctant to pull the trigger on it. Um, although it is a beautiful razor, a well crafted razor, um, it's really, uh, to me, kind of a work of art, like many of the higher end razors are. All right, so I'm gonna have to get, I can get close to the camera maybe, see if I can, see if I can do this. All right, let's see if I can find the angle. So the NASA is my go-to blade, um, typically. So I threw that in here, see how we're doing. Oh, we left some out there behind there, DK. Don't start twitching. All right. Less blade feel than I was anticipating, so I'm going kind of going kind of slow. Um, I don't usually look into the camera to shave like this because it's kind of small and it's hard for me to see, but I can see myself more clearly um, in the phone than I can in the mirror without like doing this. So then you're seeing the side of my head. So I'm shaving for your viewing pleasure today. Yeah, not as aggressive as I was expecting at all. I do feel the blade. Um, the angle is somewhat given to you. There's definitely, it's not as dramatic as say the um, the Henson or even the winning razor, um, where it's more almost squared off. Um, but you're definitely given a blade angle here. Um, so we'll have to experiment with the blade angle window, uh, if you will. It's definitely not as rounded. Um, if you compare that to like um, a carve that's much more rounded um, throughout the top cap, you definitely get some different geometry on this blade cap. And then you do, you can almost see, uh, it's almost flat here at the top. In fact, I think it is flat, yep. So the top is flat, um, and then it kind of goes down from there. So I can feel the blade, but it, it doesn't feel too aggressive to me at this point, although we are still in the first pass. So I'll talk real quick about the barbershop. Um, this was actually one of my first two, three wet shave purchases. My very first one was a fresh vetiver that I bought for myself. So I started wet shaving last year, right before Father's Day. So I got, I bought the fresh vetiver from wet shave products. That was my first foray into any artisan. And I was totally new and wasn't even aware of the whole world of artisan at that point yet. That was just scratching the surface. Then for Father's Day, I had asked for, uh, my mom was wondering what to get me. And I thought, you know, I'd like to try a couple other things. So Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. And then this one was the other um, two that were part of my first trio of soaps that I got. It's a fantastic barbershop. I didn't, darn it, I didn't get to grab the scent notes. Um, to me, this is definitely a more traditional barbershop. It is not powdery. Um, I'll have to put the scent notes um, in the description or I'll link WSP's website. Um, it's a very nice, um, well-rounded scent. To me, it evokes barbershop theme more than any of the other barbershops I've tried from my, I don't really have traditional barbershop experience. I grew up going to like Supercuts and Fantastic Sam's and um, never really went to an actual barbershop. So, but in my mind, to me, this seems more like what a barbershop uh, would be. Um, it's not powdery like Sterling. Um, it's not citrus forward and fresh like the Wanderer or Fresh Cut Fade. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just really, really nice in my opinion. And I was leaning, I'm, I mean, you know, I lean towards the more fresh scents in general. So I really liked Fresh Cut Fade and the Wanderer. 
So we'll see where this ranks in my rankings, but honestly, to me, of all the barber shops I've tried, you know, you've got Bar Bar and um, Seville and some, some really classic barber shops, but to me, personally, this smells more like the American barber shop that I would say, because barbershop's a wide category. You know, Scott from Declaration called it an ill-defined faux category. And in some ways he's right. I mean, you could lump a lot of stuff into, bar, you know, barbershop if it doesn't fit anywhere else. Um, but I definitely think there's something to um, be said about the fact that there, there is a barbershop style scent. I don't know, to me so far, It's interesting hearing the feedback off the titanium versus the stainless steel. To me, the feedback seems almost a little bit more like in the razor, a little bit more hollow. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you can hear that on the, um, on the video or not, but there's almost like a tinging um, sound that I'm picking up in my ear uh, as the razor is cutting. And, um, the sound of the cutting is is reverberating in the razor. So anyways, um, I think like I said, everybody's gonna have their idea of what a barbershop is and scents that remind them of certain things or, or a barbershop, maybe that you did go to a barbershop when you were a kid or your grandpa took you to a barbershop or your dad. So, but for me, this is if I were to close my eyes and imagine what a barbershop, like a traditional barbershop would smell like, this is what I would imagine, or close to what I would imagine the scent would, would be like. And, you know, I have to say, I, I mean, I, I think I've said it before, a lot of people, other people have said it, but um, I know people don't like the um, aluminum tubs for some reason. They do dent, you're right. Um, I don't care. What I do like is they're smaller. There's still four ounces of soap in here. Um, but they're smaller from a storage standpoint. They're easier to store. Now they don't, if you if you tub load, right? It's hard, there's no space. So I get that. If you're a tub loader, face lather. Um, but if you if you scoop, or if you even if you're a, um, a tub loader, um, if you're willing to deal with the proto lather and clean it up, um, you know, I don't really see anything wrong with the tins myself. Um, like I said, I like that they stack better, they store easier, they're smaller containers. Um, I have a storage problem. I have a problem. Um, and so, um, and then the first step is to admit you have a problem. Um, but anyways, I really feel like WSP doesn't get the love out there, but there, some of their scents are really nice. Um, the Gaelic Tweed and Old Kentucky, I got samples of. Really, it smells really good. I really enjoy Fresh Vetiver. I enjoy this barbershop. This Rustic, um, you know, is vegan. It works just great. I don't really see a big difference performance-wise between their um, tallow base and vegan base. Um, plenty slick. You might get a little bit more... Um, I don't want to say cushion, but fluff or volume out of the tallow, but um, I don't really, I don't really see much difference. When I bought it, I didn't realize that they had two bases. I was just so brand new. I like sent the link to my mom and then I got it and then did some little research after and realized, oh, it's not tallow based. There's two versions. So they make two versions, I think, of every scent. Um, so those that want tallow can get it. Those that don't can get the rustic. Um, 
but anyways, I, I, I don't care about the, the tubs, the, the aluminum tubs. They don't bother me. In fact, I wish everything was in that compact of a tub for myself, for my personal case use being a bull lather and a scooper. I know there's concerns about it resting, but again, if you're not wetting the, you're not blooming the puck and going in there with a the wet brush and having to dry it out, that's not an issue. And I think the, the new, you know, um, metal that they're using is supposed to be rust resistant. If you let it dry out or leave the cap off, I'm sure you'd be fine. I missed out on their Dragon's Blood, which just came out last weekend. So they have their fans because their um, seasonal stuff sells out like within 24 hours. So I know there's people out there that are digging it. I just don't think there are people that are putting... I just don't see it in a lot of YouTube channels and I don't see it in a lot of Shave of the Days on Instagram. But they're obviously a successful business and they have their customer base. Otherwise they still wouldn't be here. You know, they're out of Arizona, but they sell out their seasonals within, sometimes within 24 hours, a couple of days. Now, I don't know how large of a batch they're making, that kind of thing. Sorry, I had to lean forward to the mirror a little bit. This is my cleanup pass. Okay, well that should be pretty well. First impressions, um, I'm impressed. Let me wet the face here, or rinse the face. It was a little bit, I get myself here, I feel a little rawness right there, but I don't see any blood. It was a little more challenging shaving into the foam just because it's so much smaller. I got my contacts in this morning, but made it work, right? All right, so let's uh, get the splash on, and then I've got to get the kid, myself, and the kids, or one, at least one of the kids, out of here to either gymnastics or preschool. I'm not sure who's going where. Not too much sting, so not too bad. So I definitely had some blade feel on that razor, um, but I definitely enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to giving it a few more times and um, putting it through its paces before I have to send it back to Jonathan. So again, Jonathan, thank you so much. Really appreciate the opportunity to use this and looking forward to trying a little bit more. So thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you folks soon on the channel.